we are back in England and it looks like we brought the sun with us which is always a good thing and look who it is Eden <laughs> very happy to see Eden Jay and I haven't slept at all our Ryanair flight was delayed by an hour and a half on a two hour flight so that was pretty rubbish and it was one of the first flights of the day so we had to drop the hire car off at 3am we left the house at 2am <laughs> so we just we didn't get any sleep at all feeling it a little bit now but we're gonna go and have something to eat shower and then just get on with the day it's actually a gloriously sunny day today in London it's lovely don't need to mess around with any special effects or colour filters or whatever these are the real colours of London today. Look at these vibrant flowers. Some lovely English roses over there. Really nice blue sky today. Now that I'm away from Portugal and back in this room, it's dawned on me how much stuff needs to be done. We've got bags and bags of stuff that needs to be sold or gotten rid of. All this stuff needs to somehow fit in the car and drive all the way to Portugal. And we haven't even begun to look in the cupboards yet. Right, and you're going to have to carry that seed as well. Yeah. All the way there. We've also got our little gender reveal party that we're planning. That's somehow got to fit into all of this in the next couple of months before we leave. So, got to get started really. We just had a two hour sleep intermission. It was much needed. Yes, and guess who joined us? <laughs> this excited thing. Oh, God, he's fast. Even though we don't have jet lag, we're completely screwed up because of that lack of sleep. My uncle is here doing some gardening for mum. They're replanting the grass out there because my dad put weed killer on the grass to kill the weeds and ended up killing the grass <laughs> instead. So they're reseeding it. Eden, I think it's time for your walk. What do you think? I do believe that is a good idea. Where is my harness? Did everybody enjoy my park review that I put up the other day? What did you think of my park review? Hey mum, what did you think of my park review? Very detailed. Yes, yes. I thought it was quite good. England seems so modern now, doesn't it, Sash? Yeah. Just walking up a normal street like this. Feels like a different century. <laughs> That's one of the things I really liked about Portugal. There was a stark contrast to the modern living and the old-fashioned world. You can drive off one side street and you can be in the village like where we were, completely old-fashioned, and then drive a little bit down the road and you're on a highway. It's very different from here. When I woke up from the nap, I missed hearing the church bells. I don't know what the time is because there's no church bells to tell me. <laughs> we're really happy with the house and we can't wait to get back there and move in with Eden and it's almost exactly what we were looking for. For most people of our age, they would probably not like it. It would be too simple, too rustic. The floor's a bit uneven. There's no corner shop two minutes down the road. If we wanted anything properly, 24 hours, 24 hours yeah, something. we would have to drive half an hour or do an hour's round trip to go and get something simple. But for us, when we lived in Chiang Rai, that's exactly what we used to do. We were half an hour from the town then and we'd drive into town and get our stuff and so just anything, enjoy being on the farm. This one's more convenient. Yeah, this we've is... We've got the supermarket five minutes away, but we've also got the half an hour drive to the biggest shop. Yeah, in our actual village there isn't anything. It's just nice rural farm life. Yeah. Lemon trees, olive trees and church bells. Lots and lots of birds <laughs> and just very relaxing and that's what we like. But yeah, a lot of people probably wouldn't. <laughs> right, you're back from your walk. Oh, I enjoyed it. Mm. This clean cut pack of tomatoes doesn't quite look as appealing now. now we've seen the lovely vine tomatoes and the misshapen peppers. Everything looks very clinical and genetically modified. <laughs> yeah. 
Is this my treat cupboard, Mum? Gravy bone. My treat cupboard has been opened. Is it? Yeah. This is nice. My mum has made me a surprise smoothie. Well, it might be my dad actually, but we don't know what's in it. <laughs> Can you reverse engineer it? It's got a strong apple -y taste. It's definitely an apple in there. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Eden? Is it dinner time? Right. Well, Eden has her dinner. We are going to sort through some of the things in the bedroom. I believe there are many things to get done. Sasha has found some gems in here. So let's get that sorted out. Having my grand's old typewriter is really cool. I love vintage items like this and I'm wondering if it's something that I can get refurbished and actually make it back to life in working order and it's something that I can actually use. My dad says that he remembers my grand sitting at the dining table using this typewriter and I can picture her now. When I opened the box it smelled old and musty. Well used and well loved. And I can now picture it on our shelf in the new rustic house in Portugal. Having our laptops out, the new is great, but there's something charming about the old and I want to keep it alive. I wonder if this little gem will make our Portugal pile. That old typewriter isn't the only thing we got from your dad's house. Check this out. An original Ford Escort Mark I Haynes manual. Very cool. For anybody that doesn't know what a Haynes manual is in England, this is what we used to use as the Bible of fixing our cars back before the internet. <laughs> I remember I had a Sierra one for my old Ford and you have to look at the little pictures inside and follow all the instructions. It's got a difficulty level for how hard each repair will be, like camshaft removals and timing covers, all broken down. These books are very famous here. You used to be able to go to the library and borrow one so that you could fix your car. It just makes you think back to the way things used to work in the old days, how slow it was reading a book like this. It's even got grease stains on it where you can see people have actually used it to get things done. <laughs> now you just Google it and your information will be there in microseconds. So both Sasha's granddad and her dad both owned Mark One Escorts back when they were newish the cars to own back in the day. So these old Fords have played a big part in our family history really. My dad used to love the Ford Capri Mark III and he bought one when we were kids so a lot of our original road trips were in a petrol blue Ford Capri Mark III and I remember it vividly but he had a car accident and the car got smashed up. We kept it in the garage for years but we never actually done anything with it and ended up getting scrapped. And then my older brother ended up buying one in the end, so he's still got a Ford Capri. So yeah, they're all around, lying around still. And with that in mind, I need to go out to the garage and get rid of my old Ford. So I'm gonna go and have a look at that now and see what state it's in. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what the Ford is doing. It's what my uncle was up to. He's <laughs> made a bit of a mess. Yes, the right key. All right, whoops, moment of truth. What is the situation in here? Oh my goodness. My goodness, goodness me. This was my childhood car. Bought it when I was 18 years old from a scrapyard. Learned the trade, learned how to spray cars and how to repair panels. And I did a pretty damn good job of making the car straight. But now, I'm too old for this type of car. So, I want to set it in bits. It's got a two litre Pinto engine. Fuel injection. It was running all right last time I used it. Only about 105 horsepower, which for a car this size was never really fast enough. So, I don't know, maybe somebody can use it for a project car or something, or a project engine, or Maybe they can use the panels for one of their Cosworths, I don't know. 
but somebody's bound to have a use for the panels I think because I did quite a good job of making them nice if I was to try and sell this car as is I probably wouldn't get much for it wheels are worth something tires are worth something engines worth a bit and panels are all separately but together as a car with the amount of money I would spend getting it running I'd probably spend like a couple hundred quid getting it running it's not worth it I'd probably only get about 300 400 quid back max so yeah let's see what we can do in bits and pieces it was the gear model so it had like a heated front windscreen Recaro leather seats but really I'm interested in what the hell is in here what is in the back is this a wise move Ooh, not neatly packed didn't fall out whatever it is what's the situation Looks like I've got some more paintings in here, some photographs. From our old photography days. See if you recognise any of these characters. There's my bro, Kamal. Miss Gillian. And there's me, as angels. <laughs> From the old photography days. I enjoyed doing shoots like that, it was fun. I think this is going to be a full day job. I can see a Dyson vacuum cleaner in there. This, what is this? Bag full of materials? Wallpaper? Ugh, a lot of this can just go in the bin. Actually, the more stuff that can just go in the bin, the better, to be honest. I think I've got a camping tent, like a family camping tent I want to keep, the Dyson Hoover, and the rest is just stuff from our old photography days. Like we had some wooden studio setups that we used to take lots of food pictures on. Bin it. Hey, lazy bone, let's take you for an evening walk. Come. By the way, Eden has officially named our car. From now on, the Mazda will officially be referred to as Bluey Caro. Isn't that right, Eden? I'll have you down to your lead. This short lead is difficult, isn't it? It keeps getting caught on you. Eden decided the car needed a girly name because it revealed itself as a woman to us the other day when we uh, turned on the phone connection thing. <laughs> so Bluey and Caro, because Caro is Portuguese for car. So Bluey Caro, that's what we've called it. If anybody's interested in learning languages, I found a really good app called Memrise. And it's the first app that I've found that teaches you Portuguese European. All the other apps I found were Portuguese Brazilian and it's really good. It's like a game, a learning system that plants the seed in your brain slowly and gradually with repetition and I'm going to do it every day and see how much Portuguese I can learn in two months before we go back. So this is what it looks like and you go learn new words Ooh. and it says certain things and you have to go through and say what each word means, so Adilog, see you later. Adilog. Adilog. Dun. Adios. Yeah. Adios. Pretty good. I just unlocked level two. <laughs> it's fun. All right, it's dessert time. Sasha has requested British strawberries. So we're gonna have that. Mum and dad are watching Burmese movies over there. Also noticed that mum and dad have some delicious looking cart door ice cream or some Cornish vanilla ice cream. Dessert is made. So I'm gonna make that for you. See you. See you. Sasha's almost done with her edit. We're gonna watch Fear the Walking Dead tonight, which is the spin-off series of The Walking Dead. It's not bad. Tomorrow is a day of serious getting things done, I think. A real start needs to be made because time is going to tick away so quickly, I know it. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'm going to end the vlog here. So please hit the thumbs up button, it really helps us to share our videos around. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss an update. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye! Should I get you another glass of water? Yes, please. Not enough water was drunk today. <laughs> oh. Sim, por favor. Sim.